Welcome to Getting Started with Carlson Software. Today we'll be running Carlson 2012 with IntelliCAD 7.1. After installing the software and you initially launch the software, you'll see the startup wizard as shown in the current view. With the startup wizard, you have the option to open files or create new files. If you have had previous projects working in Carlson, they'll be listed here. We will review that a little bit later. So for right now what we want to look at is how would we start a new job for the very first time. Go ahead and click on the new icon and we can specify a drawing file. This takes us to our Carlson projects folder. In here we can create a new folder We'll call this Startup, and in the Startup folder I'll create a new drawing also called Startup. Now obviously you can call these anything that you wish to call them. We can now confirm our units, our horizontal and vertical scales, and we can confirm our plot size for our text and our symbols. Once we're happy with those we hit Next, and we have presented to us our data path. This is where any data we create, centerline files, surfaces, uh, coordinate files, where they'll be stored in the same location in this case as our drawing. A new coordinate file is being created and given a name that matches our drawing. If you'd like to change that name you can click on the set button and create any name you'd like. If you have an existing coordinate file you'd like to use simply click on existing and browse out and pick your coordinate file. We can also import data to this new file by selecting data collector or ASCII text file and immediately be launched into the routines to bring in that data. In this case we'll use none and click next. We now have our drawing up <coughs> with our startup drawing, our startup CRD file ready to go to work. Now as we were working through the wizard, there are a couple of places where it seemed like information was being provided to us. If we go to the settings menu, Carlson configure, we can go into our drawing setup and here you can see our default units and horizontal vertical scales, symbol and text size are all listed. So I can come in, make adjustments if I typically work at 50 scale and 10 for my vertical scale, 0.1 and 0.1. I can make those changes here and any future projects will use those settings when I create them. I can also look at the data folders. By default Carlson installs to have all the data files go into the drawing folder. You can see there are two other options, a fixed folder where all data files go to a single location or a user specified location, or you can use project folders. If you use project folders, as a user you can specify any folders you want, or you can load them from a previously created list that was saved out. Once project data files or folders are created, you can specify which data files go to which subfolder. This can be done using the drop down list. Each extension has its description listed with it. And again, like the folders themselves, there you can have a file with all this information in it that you simply load up. Carlson does provide for both the data types and the subfolders some default settings designed to match the old LAN desktop folder structure. I'll return back to my drawing folder setting here. By default Carlson also starts everything on your C drive in a folder called Carlson Projects. You can relocate this to anywhere you'd like to. It can be on a network drive, that's not a problem. You can also put your settings folder anywhere you'd like. Again, by default, you can see that it's stored in the Carlson Projects folder on C drive. Your settings folder will contain things like field code libraries, standard templates that you create, 
uh, or any other uh, files such as uh, the folders and data type subfolder locations that we were just looking at would all find themselves in the settings folder. We'll go ahead and click OK there. When we exit, we're prompted, do we want this to be applied to the current drawing and future or only future drawings? Let's say only future. All right, so now we have our drawing. We've looked at how our settings work for that. So <clears throat> let's look at another way we can create a new drawing. We'll go into File and New. So I don't need to use the wizard. The wizard is only presented when you first start Carlson. Now in this case it's asking for a template. So we'll say yeah let's use a template. We can specify that template or browse out for a different one. Carlson provides default templates but you can create your own. You'll notice that it's using our 50 and point ones as we set up previously. We'll go create another new folder here and we'll call this Startup 2 and we'll create a new drawing in there as well. Okay, we'll hit next. You'll notice our data path still goes with our drawing. We're creating a CRD file by default and we click next. So now we're using Startup 2. So a couple different ways to create new drawings. When I do this from the file menu, it prompts me to select the template I want to use. When I work off of the startup wizard, it's using a specific template. If I go to Carlson Configure under Settings again and look at Startup Settings, I can specify what template I want that to use. So if I have a company template I want to use all the time, I can specify that here. So that's how we can create new drawings. How do we open other drawings? Well, one way obviously is we go to File and Open. Took us to our last folder. We go up a level. We're in Carlson Projects. Have another drawing here we can open up. And so we can always use File and Open to simply open a drawing. There are a couple of utilities in our startup wizard that allow us to open drawings. So if we bring our startup wizard up again, you can see that the three projects that we added or three drawings that we had open are now listed under recent files. If I look at my site and road drawing I get a preview and I can click on open recent file to go ahead and open that drawing. Another option from the startup wizard to open drawings is to simply go out and select some other drawing. So I'm not limited through the startup wizard to cre creating new drawings or opening a recent drawing. I can actually say I want to open another file and I can browse out, go anywhere in here, find for instance an old training file and open that drawing. So to summarize what we're looking at is when you're starting Carlson Survey or Carlson Civil Suite for the first time you can create new projects either from the file menu or using the startup wizard. When you're working inside Carlson, you can open drawings using the file menu, or from the startup wizard, you can open a recent file or some other drawing that you need to do work on with Carlson tools. This ends this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have questions, feel free to contact Carlson Software. Thank you.